What's up, y'all? Good to see you again. Uh, so, lots of you commented on my Warmoth uh, peel and play video and said that you enjoyed it. <laughs> so, I'm super duper glad. I make it for the people, you know? So, um, but I thought I got to finish the guitar and I thought I would show you guys um, the finished product. So, if you're ready, I'll show it to you. So, Superman is ready, yeah? Ah. That's what Superman sounds like. A lot of people think he's got a deep voice because he's tall and big, but it's really kind of wimpy. I'm ready, let's do this thing. All right, so uh, here's what I ended up going with. If you forgot the body, here's a little glimpse. Oh, the sparkly blue turquoise. Here comes the full reveal. Oh, it's a perloid pit guard. Are those David Gilmore EMGs? Yes, they are, yes they are. OMGs, more like it, am I right? Uh, roasted maple on the neck. Thanks, Warmoth, for that. With the CBS era headstock, which I've always wanted. Uh, big, big headstock. Went with the wizard profile uh, on the neck. Wanted something thin because I got kind of fat, short fingers. Um, so I went with that with some <clears throat> locking uh, shawler tuners. Shaler, scholar, I don't really know. Don't do the German. Uh, but uh, the locking S tuners. And uh, yeah, this is the David Gilmore EMG uh, preloaded pit guard. All you know, all came together. Um, and uh, this is really cool. This is just cool features of it. It's got um, your tone knobs aren't really your standard tone knobs. They're meant to be basically played at zero. And then this one here gives you a uh, low and high boost when you crank it up. And then this one gives you uh, a mid-range boost. So it uh, really gives you some unique sounds. Um, but uh, yeah, got the Goto uh, 510 bridge, which is what this is routed for to begin with. And my builder, by the way, shout out to Steve Cahey in Jasper, Tennessee. Uh, if you're in Tennessee and beyond, you need to go see him. Uh, threw in a battery box for me because the uh, EMG um, pit guard is powered. And uh, so yeah, you can actually see the Cahey Custom logo. There we go. That is Steve Cahey, Jasper, Tennessee. K-E-A-H-E-Y. Check him out. Look him up. He, he built my other um, Warmoth Telecaster, and it is fantastic. But, yeah, this one is making a lot of people jealous already. So it uh, gets great tone. Uh, you know, just some clean. I wanted something that was a little more geared toward pop and rock because I already have a great, like, blues strat. So uh, this, is, this is perfect. And then, of course, you know, uh, if you want some David Gilmore sounds, you can, you know, kind of just go with some bigger arena type, you know. And then you can kick in some of these things for really just killer tones. So, yeah. Killer guitar, plays like a dream. I uh, went with the stainless steel frets, 6105s. I'm really happy with them. I hadn't really researched frets before, so um, I'm really super happy with it. I thought the Perloid Pit Guard might be a little, uh, a little bold choice considering it was already blue sparkly, but it really turns out great, especially with the white on white uh, of the EMG. So yeah, super happy with this. Warmoth. Mm, God bless America. Thank you again. This is just fantastic. Thank you for giving me finally a CBS Strat um, headstock. I'm just super happy. So, yeah, let's rock and roll. Yeah.